So I know nothing about Gundam, but I do love really cool mech suits. So when we were sent these SD Gundam models, we thought they were pretty cool. So we assembled all three of these little guys, which was pretty easy and it was really fun. And I think they're adorable. This one is my favorite. So I know people tend to do a lot of really cool painting and weathering with Gundams like this to make some intricate models, but we have these little dudes and with their cute little chibi style, we thought they'd be really well suited to go on a little toy claw machine. Okay, and now we gotta draw out a picture of our nice little idea. So we have our frames going up, we have our lid on the top, and now we can draw in our base on the bottom. And here's our little control panel with our Joy-Con and some buttons. And here we have the chute where the toys can come out, and we have the shape going around the chute. And here is the little glass guards to keep all the toys from falling down the chute whenever. And we also have our claw at the top, and now we're gonna draw in our little Gundam dudes where they're gonna go. So up in the claw, we're gonna have little Night Boy since he's my favorite, and then we'll have one down below next to all the toys, and then we'll have the third one coming out the chute. Since we have our Gundam models ready to go, we 3D scanned them using the app Polycam. We brought them into Blender and scaled them so they were the right size. We then used those 3D models to make sure we were modeling the claw machine to fit the figures once it's printed. So we started by modeling the basic shape of the claw machine. We have the base with the control panel, these four frame pieces, and then the lid. We also added a decorative button and a joystick to the control panel, and we made a cute little slot for a quarter to go through. We made sure to add slots to the base and the frame rails to hold some plexiglass, and then the lid just sits on top of the frame. For the claw, we found this really great model on Thingiverse by user Texano. So for 3D printing the components of our claw machine, we're gonna be using this printer that was gifted to us by Snapmaker. This is the Snapmaker 2.0 Modular 3-in-1 3D printer. It's perfect to do the 3D printing that we need for this project, and for future projects, we can also switch it out to be a CNC router to do carving, or we can use it to do laser engraving. I really like that the printer does all three things because I definitely don't have more space in here. Plus, it's also made of nice, high-quality metal. So shiny. There's a bunch of add-ons and accessories for the printer online, too. I also want this really cool enclosure for the printer. Look at it. Look at it. It's so cool. Before we start printing our claw machine, we have to get our parts ready and make sure they fit on the print bed. This bad boy can fit so much print on it. So anyways, now that our parts are ready to print, we can get those into the slicer and prep our files. We're gonna be using the Snapmaker Lubin software. So this is a really cool slicer. Since the printer is a three-in-one and you can do all these different things on it, the slicer actually allows you to set up projects for the 3D printing, the laser engraving, and the CNC milling all in the same place. My absolute favorite part about this software and this printer is that I can send stuff over Wi-Fi. Cause moving is hard. If you're interested in this printer, make sure to check out the link below in the description. Next, we started by printing the base, control panel, and frame rails in black, the lid, control panel plate and chute cover in red, and finally, the joystick, button, and top part of the base along with the claw were all printed in silver. One thing I noticed while printing everything was just how quiet the printer is, and it's pretty fast too. But with that, all of our parts were ready to assemble.
claw machine assembled and having added some toys and other prints, we were almost done. But we can't have a Gundam diorama without the Gundams. So we added one to the floor of the machine, we have one hanging from the claw, and we have another one coming out of the chute. I think our little claw machine ended up turning out pretty well. Our little chibi dudes look so cute and match well with our other toys we got in there. But I'd like to know if you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to leave a like. And if you guys have any ideas for what we should build next, make sure to let us know in the comments below. And thanks for watching.